this is my second week home, and I couldn't be more glad to be here still. Um, it's been kind of a long week in the cancer community. There's been some less than exciting things that have happened. Um, the thing is, when you do this, there's a lot of people that you meet, and there's always in the back of your mind thoughts about them, you know, getting more sick or relapsing or responding negatively to treatment, all kinds of stuff like that, because it happens. I mean, chemo tears up these little kids' bodies faster than anything, and uh, this week has been difficult. Um, there's this young man at the cancer center at Mercy who I got to know very well named Stevie and he was insightful and I took advice from him all the time as a 12 year old boy from he's smart smarter than I am I think and uh, this week he has lost his battle with cancer so prayers and positive thoughts for Stevie and his family he was an amazing young man and I'm going to miss him very dearly. He was close to me. Also, there's Princess Margot out east in New York who has been struggling with her treatment. And they could really use prayers and support as well. Um, I'd just like to take a moment for them, please. Anyway. On a lighter note, prayers, peace and love for that family, those families. They need it, and thank you. Anyway, so this week has been good. Uh, kind of just golf some, because it's kind of what I can do. I also went to the drive-in movie theater and saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was an awesome movie. Very good. Better than I expected. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. Um... I got to meet my friend's new two-and-a-half-week-old baby. That was very exciting. New life into the world is an exciting thing. His name's Callum Divich. Almost as handsome as his father. Probably more handsome than his father. Um, the Johnsons, Victoria and Marsha, came over last night and dropped off a bunch of potato chips. That was a lovely little surprise. Nice visit from them. Um, I went golfing with uh, the Piedmont gentleman this week at uh, Persimmon Woods. That was a lot of fun. Playing on a nice, fancy course. Actually finished 18. That was the first time I've done that, so that was good. Um, I also golfed with my brother and my father at Forest Park. So that was the excitement for my week. I got to go to uh, Joe Crenning at his graduation party. I got to see all kinds of St. Paul's families and Lutheran South folk. It was it was good to see them, of course. Got to see Tom Crenning, very good friend of a very long time, so that's always wonderful. Um, children's is getting better. Uh, I'm getting more used to it. Still go up there three times a week-ish, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Got to hang out, get blood products and stuff, but uh, that's already slowing down. My body's already kind of in the recovery process, and it feels good. Um, I think that's it. You guys are all caught up. Not much coming from my neck of the woods, but it's good to talk and communicate and uh, pass on my information to you as much as you want to listen to it, if you can handle listening to me anymore. Talking about, you know, golf and fun stuff. Not being in a room just brings a smile to my face. Hanging out on the front porch, reading a book with my little brother over here. It's a good feeling. It's good to have him home still, too. We're still getting along well. I guess we have a common enemy in my mother. Nah, that's not true. Entirely. But, sort of. Anyway, everyone have a fantastic week. Uh, I'll speak to you soon. 
One love.